for example, yeah. the MPX is a fairly similar weapon. Peace shooter. Okay. Yeah, but there we go. Speaking of peace shooters, Leon the first to die is definitely a great kill because not only is it Leon who's uh, going down, he's at some house alive and Kamikaze as well. Ooh. One more kill for Psycho as he's just roaming around the map on the vigil. That's a two hit for him. Kamikaze still up in the cash room as Stizzy takes control of stock. You see that NIP really want to disrupt IDK in their plays and making sure they roam as much as possible. And this is what we were talking about. It's church and you're roaming. Yeah, it works in 2018. Absolutely. I mean, the Vigil is probably not going to be usually roaming too far off of site, but with all the control, the map control that they have right now, they're going to get a lot of utility out of it. Thermite having to manually open that hatch there. Despite Habana not being banned, they didn't run it anyways. So this is a, a bit of an unusual attack, but surprisingly, they're able to get all the way down into church. Unfortunately, that's where it ends. Now, Psycho with one more, and Psycho with the last kill as well with the SMG-12. Four kills at the end of the round to open things up. Tough position to be in if you are uh, IDK. That push coming onto Strip might not be impossible, but Psycho will bring it back and he'll get one more on Meepy. And as I was just saying, you know, hey, maybe <laughs> you can push it up on there. Bandit's counter. Yeah, yeah you come around the back. And does IDK know that NIP Psycho is coming around from the side? Leon gets trying to contest the hatch. He's expecting the Legion to possibly push through theirs. Leon finally taking control of the toilets here. Psycho will get a kill on Stizzy, but Gumine will get set. This is perfect here for Leon as he goes in for one kill. Can he fight the other? No, he cannot. And Psycho will clutch the round here Psy on the Valkyrie. It'll all be fine. Psy Psycho. Well, you know, there we go. Ooh. We'll get the info on the Havana. This is it dropping in. As, uh, the Diffuser now will be on the floor. And he peeks up for the second one. Information being relayed very quickly here to Psycho. It's not just about taking, you know, the focusing too much on the camera because you know what, they always have a player that's on the site basically just playing camera the entire day. And the Capcan looking for the three kills. The flash oh, will no. come out. Unfortunately, a bit too far past Psycho. And Psycho will get the three kid to end the round. The Capcan with the 9x19 via Sen. He's getting a little bit more aggressive now than what he was before. We're going to see that kill go in the way of Chaos. As that's going to be Renewals getting a kill. It's going to be a double kill for him. That puts this round in favor of Chaos. Last two men up. We're gonna see Lax in here just chilling on these bottom stairs. Does he know that he's right beside him? He's gonna get one kill. Can he push in? No. As that is gonna be the shutdown again from Renewals. Last man up, time starting to tick down. And Laxin is going to try and scout out, find out some of the areas that these defenders are going to be located. Get rid of the mirror window as well. And this is going to be close for C9. Yeah, but you see the Capcan watching the only drop that it can really go for. They require a Twitch to do this correctly. Laxing will make it happen. They turn it into a 3v2. They still have a mirror window to worry about, but that gives them more information into blue. There's six seconds left on the clock as Red Groove is ready. Does he have a C4? Doesn't matter. He's down on the floor. 2v2 as the spray comes in from the back of the Armory Goddess. Rushing in to go for that Diffuser plant as Crips will get some damage done. They'll have to extend oh. it. No, Crips! right into Snookin' and C9. What an absolutely insane bit of work from the team. A bit more on the side of Trust Gaming. Kanto gets himself a kill. A snuff will be taken out. So no more phone calls for them. And also going to be a down on to the glass, which does get finished off by Goga. Double kill for him as Kraxen falls in the pistol kill for Goga. He picks up a free K. And Penta Sports are in match point. Well, this is almost a, uh, a repeat of what we saw last time. little pieces of the metal that would protect his back. But nonetheless, Slash finally finds Hungry, and that's the starting kill they needed to actually make this push happen as Eclipse takes control of T3. Yeah, this is basically, if you don't have control of third floor, it's very complicated to push into the tower from below, <laughs> unless you're going for a quick plant. But there you go. Now they'll have to push in from the attic. Eclipse will drop down to try and contest the rotation from the meeting hall. Two kills will go the way of Rogue, his last man alive, the aces uh, versus the two. It's definitely doable. He does not have a C4 to play with. He can take down the Dokubi here, peeking slash. It's such an angle. He'll go in for the spray, but can't get the finisher. The bandit is somehow still alive at 15% health. Eclipse will go in for that plant. And there we go. Easy kill for Slash. He'll take him down the 4K. Slash oh, really clips with his Jaeger 416. See Rogue pushing in from oh. the back of the tower. Something we've been seeing so much of. I have to rush in through the smoke, and I don't know if there is an extra canister to be used here. Geo will get the shot too what? close for Geo as he runs on in, just clearing people out. The diffuser is going to get set. Aces though will make it happen and turn it into a two v one. The Ash.
it's uh, low on health. Oh, Geo is watching the one angle. Geo with a 3k <laughs> to end the round, and this is why we've been hyping this him stage. up. Here comes the Kandel. Sir Boss does get Legion, however, that's going to slow him down. He gets one kill, gets the second kill, Laxing and Retro Fall. Can he go for the third? He gets the third. Slonga, however, does get the kill on the Manari. Coming up from that same spiral, who I believe does get down and then killed by Sir Boss. A 4k, one more kill for Sir Boss, and he gets the ace. He doesn't as Fox shots him down. Claymore gets shot by Fox. A three versus one. The fusion's been planted. Actually, Sir Boss is still alive. Can he go for the ace? No, he no, can't. He's around. I, I'm so surprised they opened up such a big hole there, but it's actually working out. Unfortunately, you, you knew you got spotted earlier. Unfortunately, actually, if he stay, if Oh, man. Benari. He's coming off that last round strong in Iranian as well. Steel is still alive. There's still a goo mine available somewhere here on the site. Oh, he's in from the hallway just to be sure. Well, Chuck and an extra smoke grenade just to be sure about that. 30 seconds left on the clock, and they deny the rotations here of Vitality by using Zephyr's crossbow bolt on the cap and cow. Snook and holding in from the closet as the concussion nades will come in from the boot. He'll get down though. Before he picks up the diffuser, an extra bit of smoke will make sure that that. Sophia is down and out for the count. 2v3, and Chaos might actually do this. Have an equilibrium of health between both teams here as they'll go in for a spray. But the diffuser will get picked up. They don't have an extra bit of smoke to throw on. And they're running from the side. The Black Beater runs right into Red Groove. The 3k from Chaos and Red Groove. Absolutely putting them on his back, and the T5 will win it out in combo. There's no setup behind Ooh. it. Oh, the double nade from Secretly! That is Both why... Rafael and Spark will fall to the floor. Wow. Perfectly cooked. Smart play in terms of getting that kill, but Brit does trade it back on a Secretly and to fell a second one. Snooker, though, still gets the kill at the end of it. Again, Sparks and comes up on top. Oh, it's two alive, the Thermite and the Sledge against Rafal and Vigde. Of course, the Bandit and the Smoke. Stun nades will get thrown into the back of the fountain to burn it up, but still flashed is Rafal, and he still gets the kill. He'll get another one, and Rafal will clutch the round, get it at the end, and make sure that the fountain will not get taken at all. This is my swamp. He's so for Chaos, but Diffuse has been set. Very efficient here for Vitality. They say that a run out from Crips will get one. All up to Bibu, star player of the team. As he watches, gets the kill on Snooken. How will they fight? There's no hatch for him to play against here. He'll try to stick that diffuser. Does he have a grenade to chuck down? He doesn't even need it. He has one in hand to play. And a 2v1. Bibu still a ton of health to play with. <laughs> There's not a lot of ammo left for Chaos. Go in to try and stick that diffuser, and Bibu will hear it from above. He'll spray right in, and Bibu will get one more. It's a one now against the one, and there's not much time left for Secret League. They'll have to stick it, but an easy kill for Bibu as Vitality will finally lock out the map. Oh, the last sneaky man left alive, he does get one, and that's Renewals down. That is, means no more Hard Breachers. They're going to have to play this from the back and attack Cafeteria. Yeah, you see the IQ running in onto the back, but the shot from Gide as he's holding into the locker. Rafa wow. with one more Red Groove going down, and Chaos are falling apart here in a huge advantage that they had early on in the round. 2v1 now with gas canisters left. And there you go, Rafael with a 3k to end the round on the smoke. And that'll put Vitality on map and match point. The Frenchmen are so close to taking this. Makes things a bit easier for the attackers though. Well, no one's gonna be sitting down this round anyways. Oh, oh no. Except for Rafael. You can you can start worrying about grenades now, because that, yeah. that Jaeger gets shot down Secretly. so many times. Back Crips will go in for the throw and Snooken. Ooh. Coming from the side of Secretly, still finding the angle on Blade somehow. Spark though from Oh, oh here's no. one. That's one taken down. There's still one on the outside. That's the Havana of Renewals, but secretly getting one more, just not even walking in on the AQ, finding an angle with the holographic to shut down Vitality. Well, maybe secretly could just ace this round to bring it back. <laughs> maybe that'll be needed. Spark finding the angle on the Zofia, unfortunately. Can't finish off Crips. The secretly well, gets there we one. Go. He needs one more, and that's oh, Renewals. Renewals. More like Ruinals. Yeah, stealing <laughs> the ace. Wow, no see. BP still has one logic bomb available for himself. He did use the first one to assist his teammates with trying to get into the building. Of course, that didn't work. And Kano, such a risky jump out. He tried to go for the kill, but maybe was ready for it. He heard that sound too. It's a very long road to, of course, to get back into the building. If he did get that kill, so I'm sure he would have been traded out. Maybe has rotated up. That was a, one of the greatest baits I've ever seen.
it is absolutely fantastic. Just debated directly into the angle, and then the Doka be just watching it. Meepy outsmarting Kanto Raketti in every way, shape, or form. And we'll take control of the aquarium as you see the terrace again for Stizzy. He'll come in from below. And we'll have two angles to push in from. With a minute left on the clock, quite a bit of time for IDK to play. But there's still a 3v4. Oh, what? Stop the game right there. What is that? Meepy gets the headshot on Jonas as he vaults on in. The kill on to Meepy from a nice flank in towards the corner. Lambs gets a refrag. Pengu gets a kill, leaves it into a two versus one, but still so much time for IDK. I wonder if the diffuser has been uh, spotted by the defense here. Uh, Lems is low on health, and that SMG 11, one bullet is all that is required. Uh, as the diffusers are going to get picked up, a minute left on the clock, and Pengu will fall back to the hallway. Now he's watching the cross from the kitchen, and that's all he needs to kill on Elems as he falls back. He can clutch this one here as Leon comes on in, sprays, but cannot find the hit on Pengu. The skeleton key coming in, but that's Pengu oh. to clutch the round. The shotgun in hand will dispatch Leon Gibbs, and Penta Sports will clutch with the two players left alive. And there you go, shotgun versus shotgun. It's the smoke that'll win. Fabian very much happy with his... Uh, well, he likes to call them his subordinates. A very narrow angle. Does he win the gunfight? He does, as Yunus does get down, but not out. Leon gets the kill onto Pengu, takes out the butt from above. And from Fabian doesn't manage to nail its mark. Leon gets another kill for himself on the go. Get the switch for Leon on the smoke. Seems to be working. Seems oh, shot. what a shotgun headshot! Such a long range tonight. Anywhere as Blast swings around, gets that kill. However, the quick double kill from Bibu. Takes out Boonsy and takes out Blast it down for Gumpy. And Bibu, a free K for him on the star players. One goo mine will kill him. As Bread will rotate down. Blast gets picked up and shot down straight away. And the down is going to come out. Wilkie down to one HP. And that's going to be Bread getting the clutch. You then throw your grenade into. And I didn't what? actually get it either way. That's yeah. something that we've seen where you Ooh. really have to time the radius as we Uno gets the kill. I believe that's going to be him with his gadget. It's actually, good to see we're, we're having new faces enter the community. Uh, Ooh. We always know that Ents have been very strong at, at getting it. But <laughs> there we go. Nice headshot from wow. Uno. Double Uno. kill. Rafael and Spark will fall. That's a 3k for Uno this round already. Keep in mind, one of those was even while his gadget was still out with his a pistol. Very what good plays from Inno. We've seen a bit of play from him at the Invitational. We didn't see a whole lot because Ents didn't make it as far as, uh, as Ooh, we would have liked him to see. Another kill. Could he get the ESA oh. kill? And that will be the refry coming out as Rafael finishes off. Bootsy sparked down, but on our out. Inno gets another kill for himself, and it's going to be Rafael jumping in. Doesn't even go for the pickup. 15 seconds before comes out. Rafael's going to have to play so big. Gets the kill on to Bandit Uno will be shot down. Two versus one. He's going to go for the plant, but does he realize Gompi's below? And Wilkie doesn't even know where he is. He's going to be inside of the small dorms area. <laughs> Could this be the end? As the plant is going to go down. Rafael gets the kill. All down to Wilkie versus Vitality. You take it in. Will at least allow IDK to take control of the top floor. And Leon <laughs> gets a shot off of it. A, uh, this of a Kona fire, but there you go. E1D is going to get used up, losing the pulse. Big loss for Vitality. Well, I tell you what, this is one map I wouldn't want to take them to on Paris because another kill from above. You don't need Buck, as you said. He is just destroying that. Leon gets, who we know is a very good Buck in the first place, seems to have adapted just well to a slightly stubbier shotgun. They'll drop LMs down, and that's now two alive for IDK. Lackey running on in. No E1D needed even. So he'll get the kill on Spark, and he has none left. He's got to be very careful. The positioning of the last two defenders of Fatality. Spot where Lackey is playing from because of those holes that are pre-opened by the defense. They're playing behind the reinforced wall. Zephyr will try to run on up to contest from above and help out his teammate, but the diffuser is going to get set down, and IDK will get one more. Leon going ham and the headshot onto Rafael Zephyr. Last man alive. They turn it into a 1v1 as Leon's low on health. Leon will have to destroy Vitality in this round to win it out, but Vitality only need one kill. Zephyr will have to drop off the edge and contest ASAP into the Tellers, as that Castle Barricade will play against him. He'll have to move him Tellers and then into the office. Might have to stick the Diffuser. He's a bit off, so the angle might go the way of Leon. They'll push in. They have the info, and the headshot from Leon cleans up Zephyr. That's at least a 4K for Leon. He's going to get spotted here as he escapes away and pulls up from the blue stairs. 
Bibu coming up, and this might just be the moment for the Yicker to pounce, and Leon gets the kill on Bibu, and he'll be able to rotate back onto the site. Zofia and MVP still in the back of the site. The first canister is going to get thrown in here. As Afara just spraying in, making sure there's no equipment that's set up below them. Oh no, the ADS will burn the frag grenade from the IQ, and Leon will capitalize on that, taking down Spark and two for Leon now to make it three in total. Won't get detected, but he'll have to fall back up to the site. Maybe Leon